In this video, we are going to see some of the awesome plugins that are going to be about accessibility uh, in user interface design regarding Figma. So Figma is very powerful tool, very powerful UI UX design tool. And uh, there are a lot of plugins that are going to address this accessibility issues. Uh, a lot of designers I have seen, UI designers, they actually miss this part, uh, which is very essential. So I am going to share with you some of my top plugins I have tried and uh, tested using Figma. So let's get started. Now the first plugin I'm going to share with you is um, uh, A11Y contrast checker and before that we are going to uh, learn a simple trick to um, load our plugins uh, swiftly. So the trick is control or command forward slash. So on your keyboard like this. So there will be a search menu over here. You have to type A111. Before that you have to uh, that was A11 um, something, yes, A11Y. So this is uh, color contrast testing software or plugin, very nice small piece of software. And uh, if you click over here, you can see uh, first is for it was um, unaccessible. So you have to click on a frame to activate it and then you can press on check and it is going to share with you all the problems it has. So it tells me that three error found in accessibility. Uh, there are also problems with the font sizes. You can see over here, uh, there is again text lightness, for example, like this over here. And on this background and this, uh, these two backgrounds, these two buttons, they are very light. So let's try to fix that. So this is a really nice. So it says that contrast ratio is 2.2, which is very low, 3.08. It must be something around 4.5, I think. Okay, so you can see over here 4.5 uh, ratio one. So uh, what we're going to do is let's try to adjust these. So this one, this one should be a bit darker. So if I try to move it a bit darker and a bit sharper, let's see if we can fix this one too. So let's make it a bit darker or vice versa, you can make it lighter and the text on top of it should be uh, black like this. And also the text size. So we are going to increase the text size to 18 over here. And let's see if it is going to fix these issues. Again, we are going to run the same uh, with the same keyboard shortcut, control command forward slash, and let's check this. And it says we have one problem, which is I think this one. So make sure you eliminate all your color contrast ratio issues uh, with this plugin. This is a really nice plugin. Then again, we have a similar plugin. Let's go back. And this is the state we were. And again, we have to test another um, plugin and which is actually Stark, uh, which is a very, very, um, lovely plugin I have used this before in uh, I think in Photoshop so you have to select some of the layers over here for example like this one and this one let's group them and this is my button group let's call it button and if I have this one you can also group them and call it btn2 uh, let's make this one btn3 so for that to activate, you have to select one group or button like that. Again, we are going to select this check contrast and you can see over here it shows that it is it hasn't passed uh, the test. The contrast contrast ratio is 2.19 ratio one. So the the difference between these two ratios should be a bit larger uh, to get some accessibility. So you can see over here when I click this one, the ratio is 14.26 by one. If I click on this one, this is 3.07. So if I try to change the color, let's try to change the color and now see the result. You can see now it is passing all different ratios. So this is another one stark. So let's try another one, which was, um, able, I think it's yes, able. So let's click this one and see what this plugin has for us. Select two layers for uh, color contrast. So we have to select the layers manually like this. So you can see I have selected 
the layers by pressing shift pressing and holding shift and both the layers it shows the contrast ratio uh, normal vision it also shows different kind of visions uh, color blind people weak green no green uh, this is actually for uh, color blindness or different uh, you can say special people where they have different um, color senses so no blue and all, all these different so let's let's try something with this one so i have to select this and this so you can see it shows that 2.19 fail and if i try to see no blue and okay so here we have the reverse i'm not sure why okay so here we have no red so you can see one percent people uh, suffer from this and you can see over here uh, this is the example of uh, accessibility issue they will have they will face this issue no green they will see this in purple uh, weak green this is a bit gray and uh, this is a nice tool uh, but i think i prefer a11 y the best uh, among all of these let's try another one i think i installed another one i i don't remember the name let's see able eddy so this is another one eddy and it has color contrast checker, alt text checker, color blind simulator, touch size checker. So it also tests the size of the button you have. So this is this is a very nice. Let's see how this one actually works. Touch. Okay, so here we have criteria. Let's select this one. And uh, how it works let's a device let's select a device like 11 ipad pro 11 select the target hot spot oops what is happening so i have to go to that again it was adi adi and we had touch size checker i'm not sure where it, where it has gone now this is this is really bothering for me when I see something like that. Okay, so it is actually minimizing. I'm not sure how I have to, you know. Let's try it again. Touch size. Okay, so here we have it back again. So let's try Nexus 10. Target is going to be rectangle 8 and uh, it shows that how it works so here we have apple minimum requirement is 92 pixels uh, for the width and the height i think um, height is uh, the issue i think 58 is uh, a bit on the lower side i think we have uh, we need to have at least 60 so let's try 60 over here Let's try 65 and see now if it passes. So we are going to select these two. Uh, let's select iPad Pro 11, Tangle 8 and see whether it passes or not. So we have Android is passing everything with the width and the height of the button Nielsen and Norman Nielsen group WCAG. And I think Apple minimum is, uh, where is the Apple minimum? It's 81. So I'm not sure why it's so large. So we have to uh, use that. Let's make it 81. So Apple suggests that we, we should have a button of minimum size like this one. So I'm going to again rush, run this touch size. Um, Let's select iPhone, iPad Pro. Let's select iPhone 11 and see if we have this. So this is very a bit a bit bothersome because I have to select all different um, layers like that. I, I I don't think that Apple had um, such a big button for. Let's see if we have. Apple I, iPhone Pro and the minimum requirement is 79 pixels. I'm not sure why this is like that, but it's very big for me. 
because on Android it's just 39 and for Apple it's I think maybe it has mistaken I, I don't remember that Apple suggest uh, that much bigger buttons on iPhone the normal standard is I think around something like 60 um, 55 to 60 anything above 50 is good so then it has color contrast checker I really don't like the usability and uh, user experience of this tool ID comprehensive accessibility tool it is really really cumbersome and difficult to see different things um, rectangle and select a layer I have to select two layers actually and let's see if it, it, it shows me okay so here it has it is showing me everything in everything is in red and it shows graphics I'm not sure what is happening over here okay it shows that 2.21 is the contrast let's change it and see if okay so this is this is really bad because it just it just disappears like that this is this is really difficult for me so it is good so another tool is this eddy comprehensive accessibility tool which i do not like at all anyhow it might help you in some ways it also shows that you can search for alt or alternative text for different images or svg icons or i'm not sure maybe it is for uh, coding purpose but this is another one i didn't like this tool anyhow so let's try something else there was one other plugin i like the app able i also i like the one a11 y is the best among all these and there was another one which was this i think contrast yes this one is contrast so this is another one and uh, it has its own features for example uh, i have to select two layers like that and you can see over here it is showing me the contrast ratio uh, different uh, wcag different tests that it has passed also the reverse uh, scheme color scheme so if we have white background and this color this is again going to work so you can also scan the whole uh, artboard you can see it shows that cameron william this layer it is failing everything let's meet this air i think it is scanning my every artboard i'm not sure why is that but it is uh, showing me that it is also failing uh, the test over here so this is triple a standard uh, I think double A if your buttons normally pass double A that is good enough triple A is for uh, vis vision impaired people there is another one which I really love is uh, let's uh, let me show you uh, which is uh, color blind yes this one I really love this I really love this this is this is the best among all these let's uh, remove these and move them these and once you select your artboard let's select this one and it shows that these are different color uh, blind uh, specialities uh, prota nopia and all these so we have to create different views just click on create and it is going to create the multiple views over here you can see over here this is how these special people these um, these uh, people that have difficulty viewing the normal colors will see the images or your screen like that so if you go over here on the left you can see it is showing everything uh, over here so every layer is with its own name so this is this is the best i have seen for color blindness if you want to test color blindness or accessibility issues this is the best um, let's go back and move these up so uh, we have discussed like five or six uh, different uh, plugins for figma that are going to help you increase the accessibility of your designs and uh, personally i love this one this uh, a11y is the best also this color blind uh, colorblind was my favorite this one colorblind and a11y so if i recommend that you must have installed 
these plugins that I would recommend A11, why you must have this one and also colorblind. So these are the two tools that are going to help you access the accessibility, uh, assess the accessibility of your designs and uh, you would be able to test these uh, against different contrast ratios and visually impaired people. So I think there was one more um, low vision, low vision. This is uh, another one. I just remembered that I have to share with you this one. This one is actually, please select a frame or element. So I have to select a frame. Let's uh, use lower low vision. So here we have low vision and I'm going to zoom in a bit and uh, let's see if this is normal vision. This is a mild vision, uh, medium. Okay, so we have to apply it, so apply it. Okay, so this is the mild vision. So people with the uh, vision problems, they might see this, uh, your design like that. Let's test it again, low vision. And I'm going to go with the severe normal vision. Okay, so these are a few more problems like hemonopia, peripheral loss. Peripheral loss is if they cannot see on the sides, I think. Uh, retinal detachment, ocular blind spots. So um, let's select uh, peripheral loss and we are going to click on mild and see okay so this is how the people with peripheral loss mild peripheral loss will see your design like that so this is another one this is um, uh, this is a tool for example if you are designing for Nike or any other country uh, sorry brand where the accessibility is a must so you have to test your uh, most of your websites where we have big brands, big companies, Microsoft, uh, Apple, all these. They have to test their websites across all different vision impairments and they have to uh, enable dif uh, all different kind of users that can so they can use their website. So these are all the tools. Low vision, I think, uh, is good one. Uh, colorblind and A11Y. These three are a must. You have to test your websites or your mobile apps with these. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to share, subscribe and like. And uh, I do not post videos regularly, but now I am starting my own office. So I would be posting more regularly videos uh, about all these. I am going to make a whole series uh, on different uh, color, uh, color scheme, Figma plugins, uh, typography plugins. Uh, then we have few more plugins that are helpful in styling or style guide creation or design system making. So keep on uh, the updates so you can get the updates on new videos from my channel. I will meet you soon in another video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.